Hallelujah. Um, Psalms 4 verse 6 says, we read it before. There be many that say, who is sure as any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me to dwell in safety. Um, I want you to sit for a moment. I'll be out of your way in a short time. I will both lie me down in peace and sleep. I feel very strongly tonight that there are people that need to enter into a certain uh, dimension of God's help and mercy and deliverance that has to do with um, what happens when you go to bed at night. Uh, people who have trouble sleeping, uh, people who are almost constantly sleep deprived. Even when you make the time to sleep, you spend more time trying to sleep or as much time trying to sleep as you spend actually sleeping. And you would be awake for 90 minutes, for two hours, just trying to be able to sleep. As um, Reverend Austin was ministering, uh, it was very clear to me that it's an operation of the Spirit of God by which help will be brought to many. Uh, you might be on site, you might be online, but you will be able to say, I will both lie me down in peace and sleep. They are two very different things. It's one thing to lie down. It's another thing to sleep. The psalmist said, I will do both. I will both lie down in peace and sleep. And this evening, everyone that has had trouble in that regard, or your sleep is troubled even when you sleep, there are people who have dealt with situations like that where people get scared when it starts getting dark because when they close their eyes, they come up under all kinds of attacks. Uh, it could be nightmares, it could be bad dreams, it could be oppressions in the night. The psalmist says, I will both lie me down in peace. I will lie down in peace and sleep. And tonight, uh, the help of God will be coming in that regard. And finally, everyone who is under the sound of my voice who is sick in the body, um, I need you to know that there's an oppression in this administration that the Lord sent to us tonight that will not just take care of your psychological, emotional imbalances, but that will also take care of your physical, bodily uh, uh, maladies. The psalmist says in Psalm 42, verse 11, Why art thou cast down, O my soul, and why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. My God is also the health of my countenance. That's Psalm 42, verse 11. This God is not just my God. He is my God, but he is also the health of my outlook. He is the health of my visage. He is the health of my countenance. The countenance is your, your, your outlook, all right? Uh, the same way like Joseph woke up that day in prison and said, why is your countenance down? Like, what's the problem? Something isn't right with you. That's your countenance, your outlook, your visage. And the psalmist says, God, my God, is also the health of my countenance. That if anything is wrong with me, God is my healer. And um, in so many words, the Bible definitely makes it obvious to us that he is our peace. Uh, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and it is by his stripes that we were healed. Tonight, 
I'm going to pray in those two regards for as many as would need intervention in these two areas. One of the things with these kinds of things is the fact that it is only God who does them. And I'd like for your attention to be upon the God who will both grant you entrance to that operation. I can tell you something very personal in the regard of the first thing I said very uh, quickly. I don't want to take your time any more than is necessary. Uh, I knew when I entered into that operation, I was, um, it was those, that period between when I left secondary school and when I was going to get to the university. Um, I used to have problems sleeping. Uh, I, I used to have problems sleeping. Uh, is it insomnia or whatever it is called? It was a very terrible situation, and I'd lived with it like all my life to that point. I'd be up most of the night until I ran into this scripture, into this passage in Psalm 4. And it said, I will both lie me down in peace and sleep. I'm like, for real. That day, I received an entrance, like I was speaking to us this morning, the entrance of your word. All right? It giveth light. I, I was granted access into the spirit of that passage. And when I got that entrance from that moment till today, if I want to sleep, it's a decision. It's a decision. If I decide to sleep, I am going to sleep. It doesn't matter what time of the day it is. If I say, you know what, I should sleep. I will sleep. I live in the city of Jos. I was in one of the most terrible crises that Jos has witnessed in several decades, 2001. About the same time of the September 11 uh, uh, attacks in the U.S., they were just about three days apart. And I remember one of the days, the house that I went to stay in the course of the crisis, I was uh, uh, still in the university then in 2001. One of the days, the, the woman couldn't help it anymore, the woman of the house. And he goes like, bro, what, what exactly, brother, what's the problem with you? I'm like, what is it? He's like, doesn't anything bother you? Like, people are screaming outside because there were all kinds of alarms. Some, several of them were false alarms. Like, they are coming, they are coming, they are coming. And then people start running. Where exactly are you running to? And in the midst of that uncertainty, we're almost like sitting dogs. Because as Christians, we didn't have a militia. The people that were after us were after us. And they knew exactly where the people they want to kill. They knew where we lived. One of the afternoons, there was that commotion. And people were screaming. And I was in the room. I can't remember if I was sleeping or something, but I came out later and then she's like, doesn't anything bother you? I'm like, I cannot be responding to every alarm that I hear out there. Like, can't, I'm, I'm, there is, the Bible says, great peace have they which love thy law and nothing shall offend them. I need you to know that peace is a spirit and you can enter into its economy. And one of the deliverables of that economy is that you can lie down and you can sleep. You will no longer be planning to sleep. Like I'm trying to sleep, I'm trying to sleep, I'm trying. 40 minutes is gone, you are still trying to sleep. Tonight, God will bring you into this operation. I will both lie me down in peace and sleep. And tonight, if there's an ailment in your body, this God is not just the almighty God, our God. He's also the health of our countenance. Hallelujah. I'd like for you to rise on your feet. I'd like you to rise on your feet. So those are two prayers I want to pray, and then I'll be out of your way. You are online, you are on site. This is a very, very serious moment. It's a spiritual ceremony that we're about to carry out now. And we do this by the instruction of his majesty. So this is not, if I was going to preach this evening, this isn't what I'll be talking about. We're doing this because this is what is over us. And I don't want you to be deceived. I don't want you to be discouraged. Um... I will not be shouting. I will not 
be shouting. Almost as a rule, the one who sent me said to not shout when I pray for the sick. It's a clear command. So I can be animated and dramatic or whatever, but when I pray for the sick, I can't. Because those are my instructions. So I don't pray. My volume cannot be high when I'm praying for the sick. I don't know why he said so, but that's what he said. And all that we owe God is obedience. We don't owe him a lot of... Uh, we don't, you know... All that God owes us is command. He commands we obey. At, its, at his pleasure. Sometimes he can give us insight into why he tells us to do what he tells us to do. I'm saying that now to prefix my prayer so that um, you don't put your attention more on the way I pray than on the things that I say in prayers. Is that okay? Is that okay? And I can say to you again very clearly tonight that blessed is she and he that believes. There will be a performance of the words that will be spoken over you in a moment of time. Now you're under the sound of my voice, whether you are on site or you are online, you need to enter into the economy that is captured in Psalm 4, verse 8, that I will both lie me down and sleep. You have problem, you have problem in that regard. Tonight, God sent me on a special errand to you. And I want you to ask, uh, uh, um, in, in, in 15, 20 seconds, I want you to ask the Lord to bring you into the reality of this provision in Scripture that I can lie down and sleep. I should not lie down and be planning and thinking and laboring and struggling to sleep. Tonight, I enter into the economy of rest, of the peace, that God grants to his beloved, I will both lie me down in peace and sleep. Can you pray in 15 seconds before I make the proclamation? Ivesco va faniku ve verasco venimi cabo ataco baba kitini skebo fe tagabuna kubere skebo be lakimi kobo kuba. Beriske votoski vele kovonuku meke de se sigi vela maku parata. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is done. If you are one of the persons, you are on site, you are online, I'd like for you to place your right hand on your chest wherever you are as I pray for you now. This night, going forward and for the rest of your life. You will know what it is when the psalmist says, I will both lie down in peace and sleep. And so, Lord, I pray for everyone that needs to be brought into the economy of this world. You did it for me many years ago, many years ago. And I ask tonight that for my brothers and sisters on site and online that have had struggle and struggle with insomnia or whatever it is called, they are sleep deprived, not because they do not want to sleep, but when they lie down, many of them can lie down, but they cannot lie down in peace. Some of them can lie down even in peace, but they cannot sleep. Tonight, I declare that everyone that needs intervention in this regard enters into the spirit and the life of that scripture. I declare from this night that you will both lie down in peace and you will sleep in the mighty name of Jesus. I said you will both lie down in peace peace and you will sleep in the mighty name of Jesus. You will both lie down in peace and you will sleep in the mighty name of Jesus. One more time I said you will both lie down in peace and you will sleep in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. And beginning from this night, you will have the best sleep of your life. When you hit the bed and you want to sleep, you will sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will sleep and you will be refreshed. I come against every assault in the night. I come against bad dreams. I come against nightmares. I come against oppressions. I come against harassment in the night and attacks of all sorts. You will lie down in 
peace. You will sleep in peace in the name of Jesus. It is done. Yes, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. For some of you, it is demonic. Some of you, psychological. But tonight, it is done. The hand of the Lord rests heavily upon you to bring you by all means into the reality of these words. It is done. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for the sick. You see, under the sound of my voice, God is the, is the health of your countenance. I don't know who this person is, but I see God laying his hand upon a lady. As a lady whose who's, who's, who's life, I see God place a hand upon you. I, I've struggled with that image because I just want to run and get out of your way. But I need to give expression to it. As I, as I was saying, you will both lie down in peace and sleep in the name of Jesus. I saw someone that Jesus was placing his hand upon your head. And Lord Jesus, I ask that wherever this, this lady is, wherever this sister is, that you will lay your hand upon her life. Lay your hand upon her head. Jesus will place his hand upon your head and there will be a transfer there will be a transfer of virtue i don't know what it is that the lord is passing on to you tonight but i see the lord pass it on to you and because it's insistent i give it expression and jesus i ask that by your spirit you will bring the release of that which you have packaged for this lady i ask now that it be delivered Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your package, your parcel is being delivered. It will come upon your head. The hand of the Lord will rest upon you like a, a weight. And that weight will send a sensation into your spirit. And God will grant you understanding to the specifics and the nature of that which he releases unto you to steward for him. It will come upon you now. Jesus. Let it be released now. If you are female and you are not male, can you just lift up your right hand wherever you are for 10 seconds? If I pray for the sick, you are female, you are not male. Those are the biblical sexes, male and female, created he them. If you are female, you are not male. Can you lift your hand? Lord, I ask that in these 10 seconds, whoever the person is, let her location be delivered now. So receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father. Mm. Yes, Jesus. 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 The Lord lays his hand and releases, releases a deposit upon you. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I ask that we give this one an understanding of the nature of that which you have released upon her. Let each of them enter into the understanding of the nature, the specifics of that which you have released. Thank you, precious Father. 
there's somebody online listening following you are a lady also that impartation came upon you and i heard the lord say it is power to make wealth it is power to make wealth you are online you are following it is power to make wealth thank you father so right now you're seeking your body i want to pray for you you need healing in your body i'd like you to place your right hand on your head as i pray precious father for the from the crown of the heads of your people to the soles of their feet on site online i declare tonight healing from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet i proclaim over you be healed in the name of jesus from every infirmity i come against every pain pain in the head migraine i come against every pain pain in the body i come against every trouble of the eye blinding spirit i cast you out deafening spirit i bind you i send you packing in the name of jesus i come against bone related conditions i come against arthritis i come against dislocation fracture i come against all kinds of bone related situation i come against trouble with your spine i come against pain in the back in the shoulder lower back middle back upper back i come against troubles in your organs i command life to your heart life to your lungs life to your kidney i command normalcy returns to the to the function of every organ and system in your constitution tonight i come against blood related conditions i sweep them out of your system come against hiv come against whatever it is called in all their classes of of, of hepatitis i come against everything that is lodged in your muscles i declare tonight be gone in the name of jesus I flush out I flush out of your body the deposit and residue of infirmity be healed 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 in the name of Jesus therefore you are healed you are healed you are healed in the name of jesus you are healed in the name of jesus i pronounce you are healed in the name of jesus i pronounce you are healed in the name of jesus i pronounce you are healed so it is so it is now and that healing virtue will continue to flow as you go from here as you sleep as you wake up there will be testimonies running all week long we open the portal the door of the healing power of jesus over this con conference and i declare it will not cease every single day upon this mountain and as you disperse from here the healing power of jesus will keep working testimonies confirmations will continue to roll in until we share the grace in the last session of this service on sunday evening therefore beginning from this night you are healed and continuously until we close you will continue to enter into progressive dimensions and experiences of that healing power of jesus thank you precious father thank you for visions that are cleared thank you for ears that can hear thank you for feet thank you for legs thank you for joints that are lubricated thank you jesus for normalcy where once abnormal the abnormal existed and lord tonight we give you all the praise in advance for the things you will do tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that we thank you because the door is open unto us and we will take full advantage of it thank you father in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name 
we pray amen now i don't know how many people came i don't know how many people were expecting a touch in their body because god is the health of your countenance just in case you are one such person i like you to know that the healing power of jesus is at work here already whether you are on site whether you are online i mean to say or you are on site if there is something that is verifiable in your body you had a pain you had an ailment something you feel in your body i like you to check it now because beginning from this moment jesus already took sicknesses away from people uh, things that have to do with the bone, things that have to do with your vision, pain, um, things in those categories, I could sense them checking out of the bodies of God's people. So if you need to run a check, you need to try read, you need to try, you know, uh, 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 do something you could not do before. I'd like you to do a check in the next 10 seconds and your time starts now. Try to do something you couldn't do before. And confirm in your body because the healing is begun already and like i've said it's going to continue uh every day some of you will wake up tomorrow morning to confirm uh the healing that jesus is uh, wrought in your life and some of you to be the day after some of you to be the day after but from this night it's begun already and some of you have evidence of it in your body now, before I take my seat, before I take my seat, um, I am totally out of time, can't take testimonies. But if you, I don't know if you're actually even running a check, but if you have a testimony in your body, all right? I can't take testimonies, but I can take a wave of hand before I get out of your way. Jesus touched your body and you can feel the difference in your mortal body. Can you wave to me? Let me see. You feel a difference in your circumstance. Can you wave to me? Okay, I can see one hand there. Okay, I can see a second hand. Not by faith, not by faith. I mean, you actually feel different in your body because Jesus touched your body. Just wave, let me see. Just wave. Okay, I can see one hand. Okay, second hand. Just wave, let me see. Jesus, you feel, okay? I can see a third hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, I can see now a fourth hand. Your hand is back up again. All right. I could see four hands go up um, right now, right here. Now, we don't have time to call everybody out to say, okay, what did Jesus do for you? But I needed to do that so that we know that this is for real. Some of you are going to uh, need to sleep, and then when you wake up, you'd realize that for real, uh, it's gone. And I declare tonight that what Jesus has done will not be undone. It is permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. And the same Jesus who's granted them these testimonies will grant you your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with your spirit. It is well with your soul. It is well with your body. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you.